Good morning, friends, and welcome to Circle Time. Are you ready to sing with me? Great. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? Good morning, all my friends. How are you? It is such a lovely day. I am glad you came to play. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? All right. We're actually going to start out with the days of the week because on Friday, I want to remind you that today is Friday. I like to review and look back at all the stuff we talked about this week. So today is May 15th and it is Friday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sabado. All right, so let's think. Let's think about all the great things we talked about this week. So we learned that really fun gardening song. Let's sing it together, here we go. Get your soil, get your seeds. The gardener plants the seeds. The gardener plants the seeds. Hi ho, let's watch it grow. The gardener plants the seeds. The rain begins to fall. The rain begins to fall. Hi ho, let's watch it grow. The rain begins to fall. The sun begins to shine. The sun begins to shine. Hi ho, let's watch it grow. The sun begins to shine. The plant begins to grow. The plant begins to grow. Hi ho, let's watch it grow. The plant begins to grow. That was great. And let's think about some of the things we learned about plants this week. So, what do plants need to grow? They need air. They need soil, they need sun, and water. That's right. And then that little seed that you have will sprout into a plant. And let's look at that plant and how it grows. So here are all the parts. So we start with our seed. We plant it into the brown soil. And from that seed, roots shoot down into the ground. And then a stem shoots up into the air and outgrow the green leaves. And then what grows and keeps them contained and grow depends on the seed you planted. If you planted a flower seed, let the flower grow. If you planted a vegetable seed, you get your flowers and then your vegetables. Lots of different kinds of seeds. And we're going to look at some real seeds today later on in a, in a video on blooms. All right. I also want to do some shout outs. This is going to be a new thing we're doing Friday. I'm going to kind of recap all the great things you guys share with me on Blooms. So I loved your picture collage, Jason, that mommy shared and how you really impressed her finding all those stars in your house. She didn't think you're going to find stars and you found so many stars. That is awesome. Sagey, your mom shared a whole bunch of pictures with me in the chat feature on Blooms. You had a lot of fun using your blocks and your zoo animals to do delivering seeds activity. And you used Cheerios because you didn't have seeds or beans at home. That's great. I love that my mommies and my daddies are helping my friends make their activity their own by using the materials you already have. That is so good. You also did the kitchen science webinar and I saw that bubble snake you made. I know you had a lot of fun doing that. A lot of the mommies shared a lot of great pictures for Mother's Day, and that was so nice to see little baby Rajvi on their mommy and Jason and baby Julian together for the for her first Mother's Day with her two boys. And Annabelle had that city picture with that, I guess it was cake icing maybe? I don't know, it looked green on her face. That was a great picture. And then Rajvi has been sharing through the chat feature that she's been finding things for the letter of the day and colors at home. It's great. I love to hear how my guys, my friends are using the circle time at information to do activities at home. Arlo, we loved your cow picture. I wish we were back at school so I can take all of you guys to the farm. We had so much fun at the farm back in October. And up oh, and a very special shout out to Miss Stacy and her first baby boy, Cody, on his high school graduation. We are so excited for you and your family. You guys are Big, big milestone, and one day all my pumpkin friends are going to be graduating high school. 
it seems like a long ways away as mom and dad, but it comes a lot faster than you think. So enjoy these little people as you have them now and give them lots of hugs and kisses. Miss Stacy can attest to that. <laughs> All right, that was great. So remember, keep sharing stuff and maybe you'll get a special shout out during circle time too. Let's talk about the weather today. Today is definitely a different day. Can you believe how warm it is outside? It's gonna feel like summer today. And then we'll have a super cold day. Like it's crazy, crazy weather. Right now it's kind of sunny and cloudy out, so I put the weather wheel, if you can see, in the middle for like a partly cloudy. And right now I have those pants and that long sleeve shirt. We're taking it down. We're putting up short sleeves and shorts. There might be some fun people today that might even put on a bathing suit. I don't know, Miss Stacy opened up her old purple. Maybe we can go to her house and go swimming. <laughs> But there is a chance of a thunderstorm later, so you might want to grab an umbrella. And that's going to be our weather for today. All right, we need to think about the letters we talked about this week. So we looked at the letter L. And we looked at the letter M. And we looked at the letter N. And yesterday we were finding the letter O. L is for lion, roar! M is for monkey, ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ah. N is for nail, get that hammer, hammer your nail. And O is for octopus, that crazy sea creature with all those legs. All right, boys and girls, let's play game. Okay, are you ready to do some letter finding with me? Excellent. Can you point to the letter L? Where's the letter L? You're right, this letter L. Long line down and a little line across. Great finding. Can you find the letter M? M is for Maya. And Mia, do you see the letter M? Hmm. You're right, this is the letter M. Down, down, up, and down. Great finding. Can you find the letter N? Point to the letter N. You're right, this is the letter N. Has a big line down, a diagonal line down, and then a straight line up, N. And can you find the letter O? You're right. This is the letter O. O is a big round circle. That was excellent, everybody. Great finding. All right. Let's review our rhymes today. Do you know some words that rhyme? Words that rhyme? Words that rhyme? Do you know some words that rhyme? Words that sound the same? Can you remember what rhymes with king? King. Rhymes with ring. Wow, you're so smart. And do you remember what rhymes with pan? Pan rhymes with fan. Excellent job. I heard some friends saying can and man and all those words are right. They all sound the same. Great job, boys and girls. King and ring. Man and pan. These are our rhyming pairs we learned this week. You're getting so good at rhyming. You're gonna be so ready, Mingos. Very exciting stuff. All right, today's color of today is purple. I picked purple because my favorite color. I even put on some purple eyeshadow today. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Feeling a little purple. Can you think of some things out of the color purple? Let's see if I have some things that are purple. I have a, oh no, where are all my things? I thought I had a purple flower. But he seems to be missing, oh no. Purple is a great color. Do you remember how to say purple in Spanish? You're right, purple is morado. 
Muy bien, boys and girls. And our shape today is the shape of a square. Haha, <laughs> look at that. The square is purple. And our square, friend. This one did not have your cards pointed out. Usually I do. Oh, look at that. I found that purple flower. <laughs> it was hiding in our shape, friends. Let's meet our square friend today. I apologize for not being prepared. <laughs> Sandy Square. Here we go. Sandy Square is my name. My four sides are all the same. A square has four sides. A square has four sides. All the sides are the same length. A square has four sides. They're all the same. So if I turn the square like this, it looks the same. If I turn the square like this, it looks the same. Because all the sides are the same. Great job, boys and girls. Let's get ready to count. I'm gonna bring you nice and close to count with me. I can do those nice things now with Miss Jen's fancy tripod. All right. So we did baby voice counting. We did daddy voice counting yesterday. What would you like to do today? Hmm. Do you wanna do silly? Silly alien voice counting? I'm gonna make a voice sound silly like this, like an alien. <laughs> you can make your alien voice sound any way you want to. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, those are some crazy aliens. Let's count in Spanish now. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece. And let's count in Chinese. I, er, san, su, u, leo, chi, ba, jo, chu, chu, i, chu, er, chu, san. That was excellent, everybody. Oh. I am happy it's Friday. I don't know about you guys, but I am happy it is Friday. I am ready for two days off. All right, I will see you a little bit for story time, and I'll show you those seeds I was talking about before. All right, see you in a little bit.